All right, Aries, welcome in. How are you doing? Hopefully everything is going well. Let's see where we go. Uh, I will talk a little bit about the astrology of September. There's a lot going on in your 12th house right now, and that is very karmic energy, very spiritual energy, and also... Um, you know, your ruling planet of Mars enters cancer uh, this month. And so that is showing up in your fourth house. We'll talk a little bit more about that and about uh, the Pisces energy of, hmm. so, well, let me just say this. We have a new moon in Virgo and that's in your sixth house. That is about your day-to-day -day routines, what makes you feel healthy, what makes you feel good. And so there's this, there can be this kind of like, let's get real about our health kind of thing, but it's opposite Saturn uh, running through your 12th house. And that is uh, that can be about um, wanting to heal some kind of addiction or dealing with some kind of head in the sand kind of thing, because Neptune is there. So and these are very, very karmic things. So let's see what's going on for Aries. I'll talk more about it a little bit later. Uh, let's see what's going on for you. Yep. Fork in the road. Big change coming up here. Oh boy. Chaos and conflict. Fair enough. Imagine. And come to the edge. Um, this is about getting out of your comfort zone. Okay. This is about getting out of your comfort zone. And, um, you know, Mars has been in Gemini. So now when it's moving into cancer, there's something about like, I got to follow my heart. Okay, a feeling of following your heart. With Mars and Gemini in that third house, your ruling planet in the third house is about making you um, some kind of communication, some kind of burst of communication or some kind of um, sudden altercation. Okay, is you're going to be very good at talking about this thing but I feel like there's there could be a partner here or something like that. I'm definitely getting that who is um, seething or not sharing all of their feelings. And it's just going to blah, right? It's just going to um, it's just going to come out. I almost feel like this has something to do with you not making a choice, standing at a crossroads too long. And the partner or the people around you or something like that, or even you just being like sick and tired of it. Like I'm ready to, I'm ready to take some action. Let's stop talking about it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's stop talking about it. Let's do it. And this can be past life karma because that uh, Mars moving into cancer fourth house is about ancestral karma. 12th house is about, um, you know, karma that you have incurred in past lives. So there can be a lot of this. You might have a very active dream life in the month of September, Aries. Um, so let's see where we go here. A ton in your 12th house. Very, very karmic energy this month. So seven of pentacles, the queen of swords, the two of cups, there's the cancer energy. Oh my goodness of chariot. And then the devil card. Yeah. I just feel like there's going to be some kind of pointed conversation you spent too long in the land of the dead. All right. You spent too long either in a relationship that isn't going anywhere or that has been holding you back. Um, and you really want to go towards somebody new that Mars planet moving into cancer and in the house, fourth house, uh, that makes you feel nurtured and happy. What makes you feel cared for? There's going to be a changing of the guard here. Okay. So if you're single, you could be moving into relationship. If you're in relationship, you could be becoming single or actively moving from one person to another. Okay. Here's the conversation. Eight of wands. Yep. Empress. Some of you are determined to move toward a twin flame. Nine of swords. Concern here. A fear about it not working out or fear about doing it. The queen of pentacles, the two of pentacles. Oh my God. Yeah. You've been sitting on your hands. What are you doing Aries? Um, some of you have been afraid to say what you think. 10 of swords, because you're afraid of what's going to happen. If you do king of pentacles, six of pentacles and the four of swords. Okay. So yeah, that's essentially it. You're afraid to say something 
So you've been sitting on your hands with, with good reason, with good reason, because when you do communicate Queen of Swords, it's maybe a little bit sharper than you wanted to be. So it's, it's like, it's a choice between saying nothing or having it all come out. I feel like the thing you want to say change is like, I either want to break up or I want to um, change this. Once you say it, there's very little um, room for negotiation. Although we do have um, Venus in Libra, which is a very lovely energy of balance. Uh, Venus is going to move into Scorpio later this month. And that's going to be about, you know, because Venus and Libra can be a little bit surfacy. Okay. And when it gets into Scorpio, shit gets real. And it's like, if you're not going deep with me, so it's the difference between this two of cups, like, yes, you know, we're dating and everybody's on their best behavior and all this kind of stuff. But then something is said and then ba bam. Am I, am I addicted to this energy? Don't forget 12th house, very karmic energy um, with, with Saturn there retrograding with Neptune there retrograding. It is in opposition to the, um, uh, the Virgo energy of this new moon happening right on the weekend, this weekend, the, the second, as we get into September, we start to get into September. So there can be a, a little bit of, um, very light energy that suddenly gets dark or suddenly goes sideways. And it's like, whoa, where did that come from? We're like, la, 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 no big deal. Eight of wands and the two of cups and everybody's doing well. And then ba-bam, it's, like, it's almost like something is roiling around in you or in the other person. And you're waiting for the right time. You're waiting for the right time. You're waiting for the right time or they are. And it emerges. Mars is emergent energy. You should know that. That's your ruling planet. So what is this Nine of Swords about? I feel like it gets healed, but just hang on one second. Five of Wands. There's conflict coming here. High Priestess. Oh, yeah. King of Wands. Fire Energy. That's you. And the Eight of Pentacles. Um, some of you could be really unhappy uh, that another person gets a raise or another person um, gets something that you feel is yours. So this there can be a sense of like a person you've been wanting to date. Uh, they've been single for a long time and all of a sudden they got an offer. All of a sudden they're going on a date with somebody else. And it's, you know, like there's worry here about competition. Um, you've been doing really well at your work and every, at your job or something like that. And there's been, there's no, um, everybody's pretty solid in their positions, but all of a sudden over a weekend, somebody leaves and it opens up this big opportunity and there's competitiveness happening. And it's like, you have to kind of demonstrate some kind of skill or you have to demonstrate. And it's like, why should I? Why should I? I've been doing well. But then there's this real push. Um, I feel like if you hold back on asserting yourself or doing the thing you want to do, Ten of Swords may happen. Like there's a, a definitive like disappointment here. And, you know, the Virgo new moon is about shit gets real. Okay. Just like what I just said before. Um, Virgo is, is like, this is not healthy for us, or this is not, this is not good enough. It's not good enough. Been kind of cruising along maybe on your, on your resting on your laurels a little bit when it relates to a person or, um, a situation. So 10 of swords here, like you never thought, you never thought that this person might go in a different direction, or you never thought that someone else would get hired to be that vice president or the colleague that you think is inferior to you gets hired as, oh, okay. 10 of pentacles. Okay, good. I like this emperor. There you are. Ace of swords, ace of wands. So the Aries in you, hallelujah, comes screaming out. And I like that because you're done with sitting on the fence. No more fence sitting. And this shift 
is going to get you off that fence. It's going to inspire you. It's going to, it's going to make you feel like I've been wasting some time here or I have, okay, I get it. I haven't really been, you know, stepping up. Okay. In this relationship, I haven't really asked you out or I haven't, you know, brought things forward and you're deciding to walk away from me. What's going on here? It's like, it's time to step up. Some of you could be making some kind of, you're sick of the other person not stepping up. Okay. And you're sick of the other person just kind of resting on their laurels. la di da di da Okay. And all of a sudden, you know, something comes out, some kind of strong conversation comes out of you about wanting long-term commitment or wanting um, something to be more stable or more solid, or let's do something different or some kind of idea. All right. There's just this sense of like, let's get real. Let's do what we want to do, or let's be together or let's not be together. Like what, why are we sitting on the fence here? No more fence sitting. So it can be that later in the month, um, like I said, I'll go into the astrology more in the extended, but later in the month, there could be some kind of fresh idea or fresh, um, expansive energy when the eclipse hits. All right. So the eclipse, uh, is in Pisces, 25 degrees Pisces, it's very profound energy. It is in opposition um, to the Saturn uh, floating around in Pisces. All right. The Virgo energy, Virgo and Pisces, very loud this month. And so you now have to reassert your, I'm going to say dominance, but you have to reassert what it is that you want. You can't just assume that everybody knows you'd be good vice president material or that this person that you want to date or you want to be with um, is going to choose you, especially if you haven't stepped up or they haven't stepped up. There does feel like if we're talking about love relationships here, there does feel like a possible triangle that's going on that you may have not said how you really feel. And the person that you want to be with that you think is just like a done deal or like this is, you know, where I want to be, um, they might make some kind of different decision. Like they are they might be taking a job in another town, like a far away place or they might be moving far away or something like that. And it's like, oh, OK, I got to get my act together here. OK, so um, I've got to show my feelings. I've got to be saying my truth you know, I got to get real here. And, um, with this ace of wands, like with Venus going into Scorpio, there's definitely that feeling of, of shit getting real. So there's a healing, uh, connection or there's a healing moment here because you're willing to be more balanced. It's possible. You think this person will never go away. It's possible. You think this person will never go away. Four of Wands, Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, this person could walk away. And I feel like then you're going to, you want, you want to fix this. If you're the one who's walking away from somebody, they are going to want to fix it. If they've been sitting on the fence, doing nothing, not, you know, reaching out to you, not really moving things forward at all, you get another opportunity, boy, are they going to come running back to you. OK, so Aries, let's go deeper. I will talk more about the astrology and we'll see where we're going, what you don't see coming. This is going to be a big month. Eclipse season starts and your planet later, uh, Mars, your ruling planet later in the year, uh, much later in the year in December will go retrograde. But it's starting the setup phase now, starting to slow down. OK, so link is below Aries. If you want to continue on with me, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.